Here he goes. Colby Williams. Come on, Colb. Hi, and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Colby Williams on the show today. Colby is a bull and bronc. Bull and bronc rider? Yes, what is a bronc? It's basically like a horse. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's like a wild horse? Is, that, is, a, is it like a male? Explain. It can be both. Okay. Um, do they kick too? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So um, you've won awards with your bull riding. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what awards you've won. I've won six belt buckles. Six belt buckles? Yes, ma'am. And you're how old? Uh, Twelve. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into bull? Your dad did this to you, didn't he? No. He, got, he made you get on that thing, didn't he? No. No? I started off on the sheep. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And um, where did you, you're, you're from? Uh, where are you from? Uh, <laughs> I'm from Adazel. Okay. Um, so where did you start riding to begin with? Um, West Georgia. Okay. And now you ride with Exodus Ranch? No. Just kidding. Now you ride where? Um, junior and FR, um, high, high school rodeo, um, uh, West Georgia. Okay. Awesome. So what is it like? Um, first of all, I want to tell the audience that, um, if you, if you notice Colby's head, he had a little run in with the bull. Did the bull win or did you win? I almost won. Really? Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. So have you, have you had other injuries before? Yes, ma'am. I've had two in my blood. Really? Yes, ma'am. What does that, how do you talk yourself into getting back up when something happens? I don't have to talk myself. You yeah. don't? You just mm -hmm. know, you just know you're a bull rider mm -hmm. and you know that's part of what, yes, of what happens. Wow. You're a brave, brave young man. Um, I saw your mom sent me some clips mm -hmm. of you. What's the longest you've stayed on a bull? Do you know? Eight seconds. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, she sent it over to me, and I was like, he is mm -hmm. riding like a grown man. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like about bull riding? The adrenaline, and it's fun. Yeah. Do you get to the point, you get nervous every time? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I, I tell actors, because, you know, that's what I do, um, but I tell actors all the time, because they, they get really nervous getting up on mm -hmm. stage, and it makes me feel stupid saying that when I'm next to a bull rider, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I always say it makes you ner well, it makes you nervous because you actually have a big consequence. I mean, you can get hurt, yes, but also because you care about it yes, and you want to do, and you want to do good. Um, what's your, what's your goal? To be a world champion, and I want to be the first bull rider to. Um, Ride all four years of high school rodeo and be the first one to win all four years. Okay. Um, do you have a team in high school for this? Just Georgia. Okay. So you, you're just saying you, when you get to that age, you want to be... Okay, I didn't know if the high schools had taken up <laughs> this sport. Um, how do people find you if they want to... Do you have like a... I have social media. Okay. What do you... What do you... I have Instagram and Snapchat. Okay. And when's your next ride? Uh, Vegas. Vegas? In December. Okay. What's your recovery time for your injury? It's supposed to be a month, but I'm getting on in three weeks. Mm. All right. Tell me what happened. Uh, okay. I came out of the chute. It was bucking. I came off the side, and my foot got hung up in the stair belt. I was hanging like this. The bull stepped on the back of my helmet, and when the helmet came off, it ripped my head open. Okay, so the helmet really did all that damage? I mean, not yes, that it makes any difference, but it wasn't a foot? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what, uh, you know, with this, I would think you would have some fears. What's your greatest fear? I don't really know. You don't have any? No, ma'am. Okay. You don't have any just for it to... Just a little bit of heights. Of heights? Yes, really? Okay. Um, so I, I, I wish you the best. I want to follow you and see mm -hmm. what you're doing and maybe from time to time come on the show let us know how it's going yes, and um hopefully you know you don't sustain any more injuries uh when that was going on what were you thinking 
I did. I blocked out. I really? It just totally knocked you out. Yes, and then when you came to what? You were rushed to the hospital. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then when you came to from that, what were you thinking? I was ready to get back on that. <laughs> He's killing me. He's gonna show no weakness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you're 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 a tough guy in in, in my mind and my in my head. So um, I have for you just some candy to remind you that you're a gift in life, mm -hmm. and um, you're you're the only bull rider at this point that I know. So mm -hmm. thank you for gifting me with that. If you have any advice to give to somebody who wants to get into this sport, what would you say? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's not, it's not for the weak, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you got to, I, I think um, just sitting with, here with you for a short time, what I hear over and over is you say, I'm a bull rider, I'm a bull rider, <laughs> I'm a bull rider. And you have to, you have to, you have to be in that mindset because you know what will happen if you come out of that mindset? You'll get bucked off and hurt. Yeah, and you won't be a bull rider. So, yeah. uh, so I think this is probably one of those things that you can't, just be on the fence about it. You either got to be a bull rider or you got to get off the bull, right? Yes, well, thank you so much for, for coming on the show. Yeah. And, um, and I hope you heal really well. Thank you. You're welcome. We hope that this segment educated and inspired you.